Okay, so today we're going to do a math activity. We're going to do some, some subsidizing. That's kind of a big word, so say it with me. Subsidizing. And what that means is it's when you look at the quantity of something and you guess how many it is, okay? So kind of like when we roll the dice, you're able to look at the dice and decide how many dots are on it. So let's get started. I've got these plates, and on the other side of these plates, there's some dots. You probably remember that I had these at calendar time and we did them sometimes. So what I want you to do is look at the plate and I want you to tell me how many dots are on the plate. Ready? Three, very good. Six. This one's a little bit harder. Eight, there's four on the top and four on the bottom, that's eight. One, that one's easier. Four. What about this? Two. Five. Oh, this one's harder, so look at it. Seven, all right? So the easiest way to do it is look, there's two lines of three plus one more makes it seven, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three. Six. What do you think? All right, count with me and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. And we'll do this one again. One. Very good. All right. So we're going to continue with our letter this week. We introduced a new letter, and it is V. Remember, V is a consonant, and V says V, V, V. All right. We have four new pictures. The first one was Valentine. Then we had Vet violin, and vase, okay? So those are all the things that begin with the letter V. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna read our letter V book, okay? All right, so today I have the book, My V Book, and we read these every week with our new letter. So let's look at it and see what it has to say. Little V had a box. It was a big box. She said, I will fill my box. She found violets. Violets start with B. Lots of pretty violets. She put violets in a vase, then she put the vase in her box. So we've got violets and vase. Little V found a piece of velvet, very pretty velvet. She made a velvet vest she put on the vest and she put velvet all around her box. So we've got very velvet and vest. Little V found a veil of lace. She said, I can make something with my violets, my velvet and my veil. Guess what little V made? She made Valentine's, Valentine's, Valentine's. So we've got velvet, veil, and Valentine's. She found a Valentine verse. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, so are you. She wrote the verse on her Valentine's and she filled her box with Valentine's. She pasted Valentine's all around it. So we got Valentine and verse. But some of the Valentines fell out of the box. I have so many Valentines, she said. I will give them to my friends. So little V invited all her friends to come to a party. She put Valentine notes into envelopes. She put names on the envelopes. And what else did she do? Little V got into her van and drove to the mailbox. So van is another one that starts with V. 
Little V cleaned the house with the vacuum cleaner. The vacuum cleaner will clean up the mess, she said. The vacuum starts with a V. At last, it was time for the Valentine's party. All her friends came. They brought Valentine's, and Little V and her friend made Valentine hats. What pretty Valentine's hats they made. Then they opened the Valentine. What fun they had at the Valentine party. So here's some things that give it again with V. They've got Valentine hats, velvet vest, violets in a vase, velvet, Valentine box, and more Valentine hats. All right, here's some more V words. Let's look at those. So we've had violin, we've talked about that. Vegetables, we talked about vegetables, how they were good for our body. Volleyball, vine, volcano. I think that's on our picture, um, our V picture. Vinegar, vitamins, Vampire and Valley. All those begin with the letter B. All right, Pre-K, so we have been talking about the life cycle of a butterfly. And we've talked about how it changes from a caterpillar to a butterfly. And that change is called metamorphosis. So can you say that big word with me? It's this big science word, metamorphosis. All right, so let's look at our vocabulary words for that, okay? So the first one we have up here is egg, and that's where the butterfly lays an egg, and out of the egg comes a caterpillar, and then the caterpillar, after a couple weeks, it spins the chrysalis, okay? And that's the thing that looks like a cocoon. It's called chrysalis. And then after two weeks, it eats itself out of the chrysalis and it's a butterfly. So today I have a real picture to show you of the caterpillar, chrysalis, and butterfly. So I'm gonna zoom in on it for you. All right, and that is what a real chrysalis looks like, okay? And this butterfly up here is a painted lady butterfly. All right, so it's very popular and you probably have seen these before all right so what i'm going to do is i've got um picture cards of our life cycle okay so i'm going to put the picture cards up here but what we need to do is we need to put them in order okay because miss Kreiner has them out of order all right so if I were gonna start my butterfly life cycle, what has to come first? All right, have to have the egg first, all right? And then which one comes next? What comes out of the egg? The caterpillar, all right? And remember, the caterpillar starts eating green leaves and it gets bigger and bigger until finally it's ready to spin its chrysalis okay so here's a picture of the chrysalis and then remember it stays in the chrysalis about two weeks and when it gets finished it kind of eats its way out and it comes out a beautiful butterfly all right so i've got a book to you to read today that has lots of good real pictures about a caterpillar turning to a butterfly so let's look at that all right, Pre-K, so I have a great book for you to read, um, for me to read to you today, and it's called Caterpillar to Butterfly, all right, and it's a National Geographic kids book, so it has great pictures, and it's by Laura Marsh. She's the author. All right, so before I get started, this book has a table of contents, and it tells you the pages that these things um, that this book has okay so it's got lots of pictures so you could look at here and say okay if I want to see a chrysalis I would go to page 16 so this helps you read the book better all right riddle what starts as an egg then walks on many legs 
and then uses wings to fly. A butterfly. So let's look at these pictures. There's eggs, caterpillar, and a butterfly. Beautiful butterflies. Butterflies are so fun to watch. They fly with loops and dives. Some have bright colors and some have bold patterns too. So look at all these different types of butterflies. There's lots of different types and lots of different colors of them. There are four stages. It's also fun to watch butterflies change. They change a lot in their short life. In fact, there are four stages to a butterfly's life. First the egg, then the caterpillar, then the chrysalis, and then the butterfly. So here are real pictures of each of the things that we've been talking about. Stage one, the egg, has a mother butterfly who lays many eggs on a leaf or branch. Each egg is close to food, caterpillar food that is. So here are one, two, three, four, four different types of butterfly eggs. So look at how they can be different, okay? This one up top is kind of reddish. These are yellow, these are white, and that one's even a little green. <coughs> Stage two is a caterpillar. The tiny caterpillar bites a hole in the egg. It crawls out and the caterpillar is very hungry. The caterpillar eats its shell and then it eats the leaf that it's on. The caterpillar moves to another leaf and it eats that too. So look at them eating out of their shell right here and then going to the leaves to eat. The caterpillar grows and grows. It gets too big for its skin and it sheds its old skin like a snake. But then the new skin fits for a while, but then the caterpillar is too big for that skin too. Caterpillars shed their skin four or five times. Isn't that crazy? So here's the caterpillar and here it's shedding its skin up here. Stage three is the chrysalis. By now the caterpillar is ready to rest. It hangs upside down. It sheds its skin one more time. The new layer is called a chrysalis. It's a hard shell and inside the caterpillar is changing. It stays in the chrysalis for 10 to 14 days. All right, so here's the stage of the chrysalis. All right, so the caterpillar hangs upside down and then it starts to spin the chrysalis right here. It's almost covered. And then this last picture is completely covered by the chrysalis. Stage four is the butterfly. The chrysalis moves. It splits open and the butterfly wiggles out. Its wings are wet and crumpled. Blood pumps into the butterfly's wings. They get bigger and harden and the wings start to dry. Now the butterfly is ready to fly. Have a good trip, butterfly. Time for lunch. A butterfly doesn't eat plants like a caterpillar. It has no mouth. A butterfly drinks nectar from flowers. It drinks juice from a fruit and a tube on its head works like a straw. Slurp. So if you look right here, you can see the butterfly eat, um, drinking the um, nectar from the flower. Now, here are some cool butterfly facts. The world's smallest butterfly is the blue pygmy. It's the length of a push pin from wing to wing. So push pins are like we have on our bulletin boards that Ms. Kleiner stick stuff up, so they're very tiny. Butterfly wings are covered with tiny scales. So I'm gonna show you the pictures as I read this. So here's the tiny scales on the ring. And then here's the teeny tiny butterfly. Butterflies are found all over the world except in Antarctica and the driest deserts. So there's not butterflies in deserts. And Antarctica, remember, is where it's really cold and there's lots of snow. 
there are about 17,000 kinds of butterflies in the world. That's a whole bunch. Butterflies taste with their feet. They have taste sensors there. Can you imagine tasting with your feet instead of with your tongue? And then right here, the world's largest butterfly is the Queen Alexandra Birdwing. It's almost as long as a ruler from wing to wing. So a ruler is about that long. So that's a big butterfly. Back off. Caterpillars and butterflies are a tasty snack for predators, but they have tricks to keep predators away. And predators are animals that would like to eat them. Some hide using camouflage, and we've talked about camouflage for, before, and some can be deadly to eat, meaning they're poisonous. Some look like other things. What does this one look right, like right here? Kinda looks like a snake head to me. Bring butterflies to you. You can bring butterflies to your backyard. You can make a butterfly garden, but first you need to ask an adult for help. What you need are some plants that butterflies can come to. Orange, purple, yellow, pink, or red flowers. Flowers that are close together. A sunny spot for the butterflies to rest, like a flat stone. A wet or a watery spot for butterflies to drink. All right, and so. What in the world? These pictures show close up views of butterfly things. Use the hints below to figure out what's in the picture. So, let's look at this picture right here. The hint says a caterpillar starts here. So, what do you think that is? I think it might be an egg. All right, number two says a big change happens inside. So, what do you see there? You're starting to see the butterfly, but he's all crammed into his chrysalis. Um, number three says, hint, it's an all-day eater. What likes to eat all the time? A caterpillar. And four says, it's cut. this is covered with scales. So that is a butterfly wing. And then number five says, it uses this to hide from predators. What is that word we use when it kind of blends in with its surroundings? Camouflage. And number six is, hint, you won't find these on your head. So look at that picture. Those are called antenna. All right. So that is the end of our Caterpillar to Butterfly book. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you go outside and look for some beautiful butterflies in your backyard.